kendo kembo na tata nzambi mpungu tulendo ya mazulu so nini na nini somandla ngai murungu mwenenyaga depending on where you are banabeto i greet you nusemi de twa bombote bana ba isolele molweni abantwana abangoni abantwana babawo oswe mazulwini moriega shiana shiangai mpo salama watoto wa mungu yes it's that time we sit and rightly divide the word of truth and today banabeto i want to look i want to share some insights i've been able to gather ancient wisdom which has been uh, very revealing from beyond the rivers of kush or ethiopia if you prefer my suppliants even the daughters of my dispersed shall bring mine offering in that day shall thou not be ashamed for all thy doings wherein thou hast transgressed against me for then i will take away out of the midst of thee them that rejoice in thy pride and thou shall no more be haughty because of my holy mountain i will also live in the midst of thee an afflicted and poor people and they shall trust in the name of so nini na nini somandla banabeto what you're looking at now is an image that was take um what is on the right is an image that was taken from egyptian historians or their museums or so they would like to see and this banaveto is the image of anagekoyo where am i going with this our people did in fact so john in kingipiti what is known as egypt after researching the bantu languages i came to have and the uh, egyptian culture i came to to a realization vanabeto that there are many many similarities that are too common to ignore and we look but a few <clears throat> the kikuyu time for a kind person is mutana and a mean person is mukare mu is a prefix denoting a person or object with a spirit akanaten tene tana was kind while his corrigent smenkare kare was perceived to be mean mutana mukare There is a reason to believe that a pharaoh was also called a sycamore tree. This is a fig and the word gekoyo kikuyu which is the anglic anglicized version of it means the great fig. Therefore the founder of the tribe was the great fig from ethnographic material on the gekoyo. I have gathered that there was a ceremony performed every 30 years called itweka just like the hebsed in kingipit or egypt if you prefer the term translates to the becoming and it also indicates to me that there were nine fixed names for each of the 30 year period and just to take on in the same vein you find that ngi to be the ank is the name tut ank amen since tut and amen are in the same vein on the names in the chronology in madadi which would, which would mean of thomas and another one is minor of amun what what am i trying to say banabeto what i'm trying to say is that when we compare these names we find that a lot of these names because 
the captivity in Kingipiti would have taken 125 years, which puts that as an entire generation that may have forgotten their ways before renewing the covenant on Mount Sinai under Maza, Mae, Kirema, the one that has water. We also find that um, from the foregoing, it is clear that a study of Kikuyu culture and language can help Egyptologists unravel some of the riddles in the hieroglyphics and the codes in Egyptology. Here is a word that indicates that Kikuyu language has a link with the religion of Akhenaten. Kerera is the word for religion. And syllables are Kere, it has, and Ra, Ra as in Amun Ra, the Egyptian god. Mberera is the word used for a grave. Literally, the ground has Ra. This would have been the case if Pharaoh was buried since he was deemed to be God in human body, a manifestation of Ra. So a lot of what had happened in Kingipiti is what we carried over. And that is why we got the incursion of the Northern tribes. And when once they were done with the Northern tribes, they went to the Southern tribes, another similarity. Now, this is what you would see in the, in the Egyptian tombs. You see this kind of attire is the same attire that was worn by Agekoyo warriors when they were performing special dances. You see, the thighs of a Gekoyo woman were not supposed to be seen unless on these special occasions and in these um, and in these dances. Ngai or Mogai, the one that the divider, the share, created Gekoyo and Mombi, Gekoyo, the father of the nation, the, the big fig, who we now I now have good reason to believe is Abana, the father of all nations, and this is why. The founders of the, the nation is named after Mombi, Nyombaya Mombi, the house of the creator, Yesolele, according to one of the myths, uh, Ngai took Gekoyo on top of Kirenyaga. Now, they wanted to tell us that Nyaga means the ostriches, but a further re research will show you that Nyaga means there is light, there is illumination, there is truth, and showed him all the land that he had given him west from Mount. He further promised Gekoyo that he would bequeath him all what Gekoyo laid his eyes on. Now, see, most of us would want to believe that the names that we have been given in the King James, which is an esoteric book, are the names of our ancestors. No, these are Bantu names. The name Mombi comes from the Bantu root word, Komba, Mba, the same root word that gives rise to Umba, to create. The prefix Mu, where you get Muntu, Mundu, is the Bantu noun classifier for nouns that have souls. Vintu, that have them Peve, that's animating them to be kin, not to be Kintu, but to be Muntu, Muntu with a soul, with a spirit, with Mpeve, but I'll be getting to that shortly, Vanaveta. If we look at the Baluba, you know, the Chiluba, the creation story makes a connection between the mighty one, invisibility and, av and availability, and endowment of humans with a soul or divine component longing for Mpungu. As a deer pants for the water, so does my soul pant for you because he said it is a terrible thing he will do with his solely. And that is why you had Kadi and Pemba making an incursion because we had taken a lot of what was, we have that problem. We take what is foreign and try and incorporate it with what is ours. The same way we are trying to incorporate Yiddish into this awakening, the same way we are trying to incorporate Christianity into the Bantu truth. Everything that is about your history, everything that is about your culture is demonized while you accept the garlic, the meat and the onions, yet you're being fed with manna from Yamazulu, you're being sustained with that of which gives life, that of which gives 
kirima, the truth, maye, mayim, maza, water. I, out of your bellies will flow living waters. In the creation story, Kabye Zampungu decides to become invisible after creating the world and the first humans who did not yet have a heart. After balancing rain, sun, moon, darkness, he lives. In seven days, he did create the world. So what the Mundele has been taking is our oral history and trying to incorporate the Babylonian Talmud. What you choose to do with that information, Banabeto, is entirely, is entirely up to you because this, these very scriptures that we rely on, if you do not have the discernment to understand and to relate this with what was happening on the continent, then you just float and you're stuck in the Negev, you're stuck with the foreign doctrine, you're stuck with that of which Zambi Ampungu Tulendo, Sonini Nanini Somandla, Gai Murungu, Muene Nyaga hates. Mpungu thereafter appeared in a small hand-sized vessel. The heart cried and pumps towards the, the sun, moon, darkness, and rain, coexistence with the elements. Kabianza Mpungu, our father, where is he? Father is gone. We do not know the way he went. By the rivers of Babylon, we sat down and wept. When we remembered Zion, Sayuni, when we remembered when Zambia and Pungu Tulendo had sojourned with us, when he had sojourned with us in the temple, when he had sojourned with us in his holy mountains. Oh, how much I am longing to see him, the heart replied to him. Since I cannot find him, I will enter into this man. So I will wander from generation to generation. The Bantus do not die. It's the coexistence of the spirit, the unity, and the manifestation of the power of one. Zambi Mpungu, Zambi, Moza, Moja, Moya, Moyo, one. The etymology of Bantu words, because of the dispersion, you find that the words are different but if you take a closer look at them, Banabeto, you get to understand that they are all the same. And I give you an example. We are sons of Muntu. My people call it Mundu. The Swahili would say Mutu. There's the element of Mu. Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of air, and the living things that move on earth. Guy looked at everything he had made and found it, it was very good. Manifestation of the power of one, the power, the power of speech of the power of one, the power of creation, the power of untu. Untu, the cosmic force of creation that makes us abantu, abantuana, abato, depending on where you are. Ubuntu, untu, ondoire, that is the power that unites us, the power that connects us, the spirit, the mpeve. Then Sonini Nanini formed a muntu from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostril the breath of life, and the man became a living being. Where was this dust taken from? From the east part, the garden. Then what, what does this, the, uh, the power of muntu manifesting in kintu, this is the dust of the ground, kindu, kintu, onkisi, if you prefer the power. We, had, uh, we see this in Urim and Tumim, were used in connection with the breastplate of judgment, worn by the high priest in ancient Isolili. The breastplate contained 12 stones, each with the name of the 12 tribes written on it. And Abana went up to King Gip, out, out of King Gipiti he and his wife and all that he had and lot with him into the south, hanto, hanto, the manifestation. Now, what is the relevance of what I'm trying to tell you? The manifestation of the power of one. This is spiritual warfare. A lot of you have been approaching and asking me, how do I connect with the father? Then you need to control the three elements. And that is, you're already Muntu. Muntu is your state of being. You are born a bantu. 
you know, whether in, in King Gibbet or modern day Babylon, uh, modern day King Gibbet. You have Ubuntu, which has brought you to the Bantu tree. Now, Kintu. What is the manifestation of the power of Untu in you? Have you gone to the Hantu? Have you gone out of King Gipiti and gone down south into the land? Why, why do we talk of the land? There's the dust that was yeah. taken from this ground. You have to connect with that dust so that you can be at harmony with the power of one, which takes us back to where they cannot destroy his holy mountains. That is the one thing they could never touch. And we see that even when we look into the south, we find that they talk of Mulungu, who on the, in the east we call Murungu. It's just a variation of the R and the L. Why? Because of the dispersion, which is also spelled, get this one, Mlondolozi, Onkulunkulu. And other variants, Iji Murungu, Mu Mpungu, Mu, the power that gives Muntu, having the spirit of Mtu. So Nini Nanini Somandla, Ngai, I am that I am, one, the power of one, you know, that is what he was trying to tell us, Maza, he is one. He is one with all creation. He is one with you, my kings and queens. He is one with me. He is one with your brothers on the continent. He is one with you in the land of your captivity. But his intention is to merge all, to come into one mind. And that is what Banaveto Christianity could not tell us. All Bantus have always believed in one supreme, the nature of of the one is, is vaguely defined, although he may be associated with the elements, the sun, the oldest of all ancestors, you see your ancestry, or have other specifications. Most names include the Bantu particle ng, onk, which is related to the sky, Yama Zulu. Some examples are Nzambi, Mpungu among the Bangkongo, Mulungu, Wayao, the Chewa, and the Akamba, and others. Unkulunkulu, or Amazulu. Mugulu, among the Baganda. Muluku, Makua. Mungu, with the Swahili. Mukuru, among the Ovaherero and Ovahimba. The Nyambe, 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 Nzambe, Nyambe, Nzambe, among the Basa. Kibumba, among Baso, Basoga. Imana among the Bajarwanda and the Barundi, Modimo among the Basoto and Botswana, Ruhanga among the Banyoro and the Banyankole, and Gai among the Akamba, Agekoyo, and other groups in many traditions. Tatanzambi is supposed to live in the skies, yet there are also traditions that locate Nzambi and Pungu on some high mountain, for example, Kirinyaga, Mount Kenya, for the Agekoyo people. Kerema, that, that Kerema, which is mountain for that which possesses the truth. We find that in uh, the Valley of the Kings in South Africa, yes, he visits his children in high places. That is why even we find uh, Isaiah Congo, who they would have us believe, it was uh, JC, Isaiah Congo, Msindi C, would go to the mountains. Two talk to his ancestors, one being Maza and Elia, two being Tunzambi and Pungu, the power of one, the power that connects all the spirits in this world or in the thereafter, which they continue to dwell with us. Now, when we go to the Banguni, we see Umvelingangi, which is Umvelingangi, forgive me if I'm butchering that, is a Nguni word which translates to the most high or divine consciousness, being of one consciousness that is considered the source of all that has been, that is and all that will ever be. He who was, is and is to come. You see, 
This is Bantu folklore, according to them. But sounds to me like I am reading the scriptures only without Yiddish, English, Germanic names. I hope you're paying attention, Bernadette. Umvelenkang is most accurately described as the inner light of creation. Nyaga, Kere Nyaga, the place of illumination. Ukukotama meditation was a widespread practice prior to the westernization among the Zulu clan. Ukukotama was seen as a way of attaining Ubunye. Nonvelingangi, oneness with the divine conscious. This practice is primarily the reason, listen to this one, why the Amazulu clan survived through the ages without any form of Western or modern resources, being one with the creation of Nzambi and Pungu, being one with the creation of Nkulunkulu, being one with the creation of Kamata. Been one, Kamata. Been one with the creation of Ngai Murungu because we are under him. So now, um they will neither harm nor destroy on all my holy mountain, for the earth will be filled with the knowledge of Tatan Zambi as the waters covers the sea. I hope you get something from that, Banabeto. I try to simplify this. If you want us to go in depth, my email is always available. But have this understanding that Whatever we are looking for, we have had it all along. We just need to connect with the three pillars. Vantu, the place. Avantu, the people. Untu, the spirit. Ubuntu, gumuntu, gabantu. I am because you are. Bayete, my kings and queens. Until next time. Kembo, Kembo, Natata, Nzambi, Yama, Zulu, Mpungu, Tulendo, Sonini, Nanini, Somandla. May you come to all understanding as you seek the truth and as you seek oneness with our creator, as you seek oneness with him who is to be looked upon as a Jasper and a Sardine Stone, as you seek the one who accepts the living sacrifices of the melanated ones. Abantu, abantuana, abangone, those without sin. Those who have only been told to avoid three things. Kerumi, dahu, namogiro. That is curses, abominations, and contradiction of the law. We live by the law. Joya, samba, betu abumbote, banabai solele. Siana Shiangai, Watoto wa Mungu, may Tatan Zambia Mpungu shine his face in the place of illumination. Kere Nyaga, may all lives come to you from Sonini Nanini Somandla, yes, the mighty one of Abantu, Matondo Masaka. <laughs> All praises to Sonini Nanini. Amanda Banner Bermuda.